welcome back again. I'm doing another bigger canvas for you today. This one is a 30 centimeter by 60 centimeter, which is 16 by 32 inches. <clears throat> I did one yesterday in the same size. Oh, I'll show it to you, it's still wet. That's it there. My mix was really thin. For some reason, I don't know why. Probably probably because actually I was trying a different brand of paint and just not used to the consistency. It was really thick and I thinned it out and thinned it out and I obviously thinned it thinned it too much. So never mind. Trying again. Uh, a lot of people did like that, Paul, with the the bigger cells, but uh, I just find them a little bit too misshapen and a bit stretched out and my edges along here were going muddy. So uh, I'm going to do it again and I've made my mix a little bit thicker. I don't know if you can see that where the paint hits the other paint in the cup. It leaves a little bit of a trace. You can see it ribbons on the top before it disappears, leaves a little bit of a trace. A little bit of a mound on top and that's that's how I like it so using a mixture of paints today I'm using my regular pouring medium which is the three cups Floetrol two cups PVA one cup pouring medium this one's Liquitex because I'm almost out of my global and just a quarter of a cup of water um, for cells I'm going, going to go back to the treadmill silicone just for this one just to see how it compares with the coconut milk hair serum. They're both great. It really doesn't matter which one you use. You're going to get cells with, with each if, as long as your paint consistency is right. So I'm going to put three drops in each. I've got about 100 grams of mixed paint in each cup. So I would normally do three drops for 90 grams, which is one drop per... 30 grams or one drop per ounce and I'm not going to put any in the white because I want white to stay nice and dense uh, to sink to the bottom and then my lighter colours with the oil hopefully will come back up to the top. I can go around once with that. Treadmill silicone is a lot thinner than the coconut milk hair serum and I don't like to mix it too much. Otherwise, I get tiny little cells. So I've got four cups here. So I need to try and divide my paint equally between the four flip cups. And I have got 800 grams of mixed paint. When I do my little cards, my 30 by 40 centimetre cards, I use 600 grams. So 30 by 40 is probably about up to there. So I've got a little bit of extra, so I'm just adding an extra 200 grams of paint and taking that up to 800. Hopefully that will be enough. So sticking with these sort of, I guess they're called beachy colours. I was sort of thinking autumn, but not really because they've got blues in them. So they're more of a beach, beachy sort of a sandy colour, especially with this one here, this beige. Definitely more of a beach theme. So let's go with that. I live near the beach. Only five minutes drive from the beach. Not that I get down there a lot. Too busy working and looking after a household and painting and looking after my dogs. I breed teacup poodles, the red ones. Don't know if I've told you that before. And I've got a one of the girls, Abby, she's due to birth any day now. Won't be today because her temperature hasn't dropped yet. I check her temperature four times a day and once it drops to about 36.2 degrees, then I know she's going to birth within the next 24 hours and I'll make sure that I don't leave her alone. So it's just my little way of knowing when she's going to go into labour. When the temperature drops then she starts labour and she'll birth in within 24 hours. She's only a little thing. She's only got one pup on board, a little singleton. So I'll be booking her in for a caesarean 
Vets are on standby waiting for my call to bring her in. Which is great. They're very supportive. I took her in for her x-ray yesterday. Was it yesterday? Might have been the day before. Just to confirm that she only had the one pup. The x-ray showed yes she does. So because she's such a small dog, I don't risk delivering a singleton puppy naturally. It's too risky. The pups tend to grow too big because they've got more room in the uterus. They grow bigger and as I said, she's only little. The pups tend to get stuck and it's not a good outcome. So cesarean it is for her this time. If they have two pups, that's fine, they can birth naturally, but with one, it's just, it's really too risky. I've seen so many bad outcomes from other people. So, anyway, that's what's happening with me this week. Now, back to the Navy. So, I've got a dark blue, my Navy. I've got a mid blue, which is this one here. And then I've got the light blue, which is that one on the end there. I've got three different blues. So my dark and my light is obviously my navy and my white today. And then I've got this darker brown and the lighter brown. And then my pop colour, which is yellow. So if you've seen my paws, you know that that's how I, I do it. A darker light, a couple of shades of a different colour. And then my pop colour. Okay, uh, this one next. I'll tell you what the colours are once I've flipped the cups over and they have a chance to just rest and make their way down the sides of the cups. I have sprayed all my, my cups, these ones here, with a little bit of silicone spray just to help the paint release because I don't want too much of it being left behind. I want it to all come out and be used. I'm always going to have a little bit left in the cups. That can't be helped. There's always some that's clung to the sides and you can't get it all out. So just make sure that you've got enough paint. Taking that into consideration that uh, you do need to have that little bit of extra paint left. Make sure you've got enough. And with te this technique, as I've said before, a hundred times you need a lot of paint to be able to cover your surface and uh, not stretch it too much that you lose your cell shape and of course the other thing that will lose your cell shape is if your mix is too thin as I showed you with my one I did last night. Way too thin. I'm just not used to these Liquitex Basics paints. As I said they're, they're much thicker than the Global. So I mixed them with more pouring medium and then I thought oh it's still too thick so then I added water. And it was just too much water. It's easy to get complacent with one brand of paint when you're used to it all the time and you think, yeah, I can do it with that. And then you change brands and it's not so easy because each brand's a little bit different. So what works for one person with their brand is not necessarily going to work for you if you've got a different brand. So... Just trial and error, you know, keep practicing with your brand of paint, with your pouring medium, you'll get there. It's going to be different to everyone else's. So just practice what works for you, your mix, and you'll get there. I've been practicing my mixes for about a year, trying to get the perfect mix. Different mediums, different paints, different ratios, different oils. Sometimes it can be quite frustrating and depressing. I've scraped a lot of canvases, wasted a lot of paint. But it's my hobby and I enjoy it. I don't feel as if I have to sell my paintings. Just because you've got a hobby doesn't mean you have to make money out of your hobby. You can just enjoy painting. You know, just do it for you. You don't have to do it for anybody else my thoughts anyway. You don't have to sell your work. 
I mean, it's nice if you can, if you want to, but you shouldn't feel as if you have to. It's, it's your hobby, just enjoy it. Okay, so my colours. White. You can hardly see that now, it's an old container. White from Global. Mix that three parts pouring medium to one part paint. The blue. Uh, Cerulean blue, Liquitex Basics. Mix that four parts pouring medium to one part paint because it's thick and I had to add a touch of water to that one. It was it didn't, it didn't mix well at all. Raw Sienna by Global, three to one. Lovely smooth creamy paint. Liquitex Basics. Uh, cadmium yellow light hue, four to one ratio. No more water. This one, this is Prussian blue, that dark navy. It's a um, transparent colour. Atelier or Atelier, whichever way you want to pronounce that. I mixed that four parts pouring medium to one part paint and then I had to add water as well. It was really quite thick. And Liquitex Basics, I can't read that. Uh, wipe my sponge off. Unbleached Titanium, four to one. Mix that one. And lucky last, one of my favourite, favourite colours, the light blue permanent with Liquitex Basics. Four parts pouring medium to one part paint. No extra water. Okay. Have these dropped down? Don't know. Oh, I can see a little dot there where the paints come away from the cup. got my little handy spatula ready to go to get my sides. All right, let's cross fingers. Hope this works. As I said, that other one, and I'll show it to you later after I've done this pour and then you can see the comparison. It was a bit too thin. My paint was, when I was tilting, it was <laughs> almost slushing around. Um, yeah, didn't really like the outcome of that. But hey, if you like those big cells that are really stretched and unusual looking, have a thinner mix. I personally prefer them to be more round, multicoloured, um, so I'm going with a thicker mix. But as I said, personal opinion, there's no right or wrong in pouring. Okay, it's quite thick, it's just sitting there. I'll just bring this down a little bit so it covers this bald spot here. take a little bit up the centre. As long as I don't curve the bottom, I'm happy. I just don't want the curve, so I'm happy to use the extra bits. When they're a bit thicker like this, I tend not to get the mud. Once it's, if it's a really thin mix and you pour your leftovers out, because it's been mixed a couple of times in the cup, it's poured out, it's poured in, it's poured out again. Uh, it can get a bit muddy, so just be careful with that. But you think a mix, as I said, um, sort of stays more separated than a thinner mix. Not quite a bit left in this cup. Didn't tip that one very well at all, did I? Okay, there we go. Got a bit of a caterpillar happening there. And what I've decided, if I find a caterpillar and I don't like it, I'm just going to pour a stripe through it to get rid of it. If I've got any paint left, see if I can aim this in the right direction. Where am I going? <sighs> kind of missed it. Oh well, couldn't see what I was doing. My hand was in the way. Now, let's get to torching. I'll just torch lightly. So as I said, there's treadmill silicone in this one, so see what it does. I don't usually use it. I tend to use my coconut milk hair serum. But let's have a look and see how it compares, hey? Lots of cells popping up. 
Let's give that a minute for the cells to grow. These little ones that have popped up under here, let's let them grow for a minute. And you can straight away see that the, the mix is thicker. Normally by this stage, you now the cells have grown quite a lot. But me stretching them will allow them to grow. And hopefully because it's a thicker mix, they'll stretch, but not stretch to the point of being uneven. They'll hopefully stay in their, their nice round shape. Okay. There's another little blue worm there. You tend to get more worms with a thicker mix, I've found. Let's move these cups out of the way here. All right. Let's go. What I wanted to do first, and I forgot just then, I want to go side to side first to stretch my middle bits out. You may remember me saying that my middle ones are always sort of concertinaed. I thought if I go to the middle first, I just want to see how that goes, whether that's a good idea or not. All right, so I've gone to that side, come back to the middle. Now I'm going to go back that way. And just see if I can improve on the way that I tilt. Because the tilting part is really important. It's kind of make or break with tilting. Okay, so that's gone over there. The middle's stretched out. Bring it back. Just trying to straighten up my lines a little bit. And as I straighten them up, I'll go down over the edge. That's the plan anyway. How's that looking? Getting over the getting over there, hey? Hope so. Now, I'm just gonna help this over a little bit where it's on the dry canvas. Some lovely dark blue under there. I just put my finger in. Just need to get to that last little corner there. I don't want to overstretch that corner. I'll just leave that there. I can touch that up later. Let's turn it around. Lots of cells. Not huge just yet, but let's see what happens when I stretch them the other way. It's staying pretty much in a good shape. These ones up here are starting to stretch a little bit, but nowhere near as much as my ones from last night with my really thin mix. You can see the paint's flowing quite slowly. I think this is the one that I didn't pour very well and I didn't have quite enough paint to, to make it over the, the bottom. I'm paying the price now. Probably should have had a little bit more paint in my cups. Okay, that's over. Now, I'm just going to turn it around so that I can tilt a little bit more towards you just to centre the paint because I've got a lot of cells here. I just want to move them down a little bit, stretch these ones out and then make these ones a little bit better shaped. These colours aren't too bad though, are they? Just not sure about that burnt sienna. It really takes over. Okay, I think I'll leave it like that. So I've stretched this way out a little bit. Those ones are back to normal. Now I'm going to just do my sides, pick up a little bit of paint. 
and just pop it on like that. It's nice and thick and just let it run down on its own, do its own thing. You don't need to brush it or put your finger in it or anything like that. Try and have a lot of paint on there so that you, it can easily flow down on its own. And try and match your colours. If you've got blue, put some blue there. If it's got some green in it or yellow, put some of that in it. Oops. Can't get out of the light. I've got a window there on the on your right. Try not to block it, otherwise you get a, sh a shadow. Mm, I've got a lot more paint over here on this end, so I'm going to pinch some from there and just pop it there. And then this little bit over here has got some burnt sienna in it, so that needs to go there. And a little bit of burnt sienna there as well, that can go on the edge. Just try and match it up if you possibly can no one's going to look at it and say oh your sides don't match as long as they're covered and they relatively look similar it will be fine okay let's do this bit now my cups are in my way put it up there let it fall down and then wipe your little blade off so that you can get fresh paint again because what you've got on your blade is going to be quite muddy so go with fresh paint each time there we go how's that looking i think i like it whoops now the other oh the other thing you need to do once you've done your sides, just run your little um, tool down the side like that underneath just to catch your paint drips. Otherwise it'll dry like that and you'll end up with dried drips. So, and you might have to do it a couple of times just over the next few hours as your paint's drying. Oh, I've missed a bit there. Um, I need some of this. And don't carry that over the top, go around. The last thing you want is drips on your beautiful paw. Wipe that off, get some fresh paint. And I need a little bit of blue, so I'm going to take that. So these bits aren't wasted. Now I'll certainly use them for filling in my sides. All right, run the <laughs> spatula under there. And under here, I think I'm done. There we go, last little bit. Yay, done. What do you think? Do you like that one? They're not huge cells, are they? But they're certainly well shaped. But in saying that, for a little canvas like this, you probably don't want massive cells, do you? I just want to torch this bit of yellow here hasn't got much happening in it. I will give a, a light torch all over just to pop any bubbles because it's got glue in the mix. Not much is happening. Because it's got glue in the mix, I don't want, um, when it dries, little bits from the, from the glue. So best to pop them all. Otherwise you'll get pits. All right, I'm going to take the camera, my phone, I should say, down off here, off my tripod. I've got this little phone holder. It's so cute. I'll show it to you, for anyone that wants to, to video. That's it there. It holds your phone. It just, the phone just sort of slides in here. And... Um, it's on the tripod, like so. I've got my ladder there that I climb up onto. Okay, let's have a look at this, hey? Look at it from my perspective, from my side. Now my favourite. Can you tell which is my favourite? 
favorite favorite look at that look at those cells my goodness beautiful cells and these ones over here these are pretty good too over here a little bit muddy there I don't know what's been happening over there but it's probably that pale maybe I didn't need two lots of white I got some insulation in my garage there we go back in focus insulation in my garage on the doors see those panels that's the garage door and I put those um, polystyrene panels on the inside just to keep the area nice and cool in summer because when it's about 35 degrees outside in Queensland in the middle of summer it can get to about 50 degrees in here those that haven't seen my new studio I might as well just show you that I, when I've got it here since I've got you all here uh, there's my chakra paw drying there's my little chakra paw with more blended colors and these two and this is it's a similar one to the one I've just done but it's got the coconut milk serum in it and then this one here similar again but just a bit of extra white in it and very exciting I got my air conditioner there it is yay that went in on Monday today's Thursday so I haven't had to use it yet it hasn't been really hot yet there's just some paintings <laughs> Uh, so yes let's go back to the pool I'm really happy with that I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I don't know about maybe I should go back to treadmill silicone it's really pretty isn't it, it gives nice cells or it could just be the fact that I'm using a better quality paint it could be that too because the um, the paints that have got the higher density or more pigments in them, the Liquitex Basics and the Atelier, they are going to give you a better cell. You can see the Liquitex Basic there and the Atelier. Just beautiful cells. All right, enough from me, enough of my chatter. Uh, please join the acrylic, the Australian Acrylic Pouring Group on Facebook. Have a go at one of these been seeing lots and lots of multi-flip cup pours coming through everyone's doing such a great job and everyone on the page is so lovely and helpful and encouraging so come and join us we'll see you then okay bye for now